Have you ever dreamed of quitting your 9-to-5 job and becoming a licensed real estate agent? In this video, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of obtaining a real estate license. From understanding the eligibility requirements to studying for the exam and finally getting your license, we've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll be one step closer to starting a new career in real estate and potentially changing your life forever. There were around 1.5 million members of the National Association of Realtors in October 2021 in the USA alone. The richest real estate agent is Keller Williams, whose net worth is $532.2 billion. There is virtually no limit to the amount of money a realtor can make. Once an ordinary man learns about the art of real estate and steps into this field, the sky is truly the limit. But guess what? All of them have to go through a process. The initiating point of this process is getting a license to become a real estate agent, and today we are going to talk to you about how you can get one. First of all, we will have to take a look at what is a real estate license. A real estate license allows realtors to legally sell, broker, or rent real estate on behalf of a real estate brokerage to new buyers and investors. To perform this business, you must have a real estate license. In different countries of the world, the criteria for becoming a realtor are different. Even if we talk about the USA, the method, requirements, cost, and timeline for becoming an agent vary by state, so it's critical to understand exactly what it takes to get started in this rewarding profession. First of all, you have to do some research about the education criteria of your state. Some basic and common factors include your age, which must be above 18. Your educational background should have a college degree, and it is also checked if you ever had a criminal record in your life. The next step after checking the criteria is to select the school for the education to become a real estate agent. You should know that becoming a realtor requires both financial and time investment. There are many schools that provide education to aspirants. You have to make sure that your school is accredited and acknowledged by your state. Now, talking about the investment, the time of education ranges from 30 hours in Kansas to 168 hours in Colorado State of the U.S. The money you have to pay also ranges from $200 to $1,000. After getting the prerequisite education, you have to apply for the real estate license exam. Remember guys, don't confuse this application with the application for a license. You have to pass your exam to apply for the license. After applying for the exam, you have to pay the registration fee and provide some of your personal documents as well. Once you have passed the exam, now you can apply for the license. In most states, you have to pass the exam with 70% marks in order to apply for the license. Make sure to get a copy of your exam score and an official real estate transcript or certification of completion from your institution to include with your real estate licensing application. Before you apply, check with your state's real estate commission to see if you require errors and omissions, E&O insurance. E&O insurance protects real estate agents from financial losses and lawsuits resulting from their employment in the real estate industry. E&O insurance is sometimes sold by your brokerage. If you do not have it, you may be asked to obtain it before submitting your application. Now it's time to apply for your license. Once you pass the exam with enough marks, you just have to apply for the license with a fee of $50 to $250. After the application is submitted, now you have to wait for a time between one week and two months for your license. Finally, the wait is over and you get your license. The process does not end here. After all, you are going to be a real estate agent. You might become the competitor of Keller Williams, so it's not that easy. After getting the license, most states in the U.S. require you to work for a real estate brokerage for two to three years. Now you have earned a license and worked with the real estate brokerage, but you are still one step away from calling yourself a realtor. You have to register yourself with the National Association of Realtors (NAR). This membership of NAR is also essential if you want to participate in most multiple listing services (MLS), which allow you to check other realtors' listings. You can officially use the title of real estate agent and work in the field if you are not a member of NAR, but your earning potential is limited because you do not have access to the MLS. It requires a lot of effort to earn a real estate license, so be sure you renew it on time. Check your state's requirements to find out when your license will expire. On average, the license expires every two to four years. That pretty much wraps up this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to this channel with the bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some pretty awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.